Hey everyone, well, I guess I'm about ready to show off my GameCube collection. And like with my DS games, I will start this alphabetically. So, the first game up is Capcom vs. SNK2 EO. This is a pretty solid fighting game, I'd say. It's only one of three fighting games I own on my GameCube, but GameCube didn't get many fighting games, as we all know. Or if you don't, well... That's just how it is. I don't like this game as much as Street Fighter Alpha 3, but I still think it's worth owning. I never did, especially since I never did play many of the SNK fighting games. It's good, get me familiar with some of the characters. Next up is a game very worth owning if you're a survival horror fan or just like games that are just very unique and creative and that's Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem this is a really great game very scary it didn't quite sell well I guess when compared to Resident Evil or Silent Hill but I think in some ways it's a little better than them Though, probably not as good as Resident Evil 4, but... Well, just story-wise and, uh, and crea creativity-wise, this is probably one of the best survival horror games out there. And, uh, K-Wing, if you watch this video, I'm hoping that you will do a review of this game, maybe for Halloween, or maybe for your Games That Still Pwn segment on Game Nights TV. So, yeah... And I definitely agree with Spoonie One that this game is definitely a work of art. It really is. Shame to say I didn't get into this game until November of 2008. But I'm glad I did. Better late than never. Next up. Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Uh, probably next to uh, Shadow Dragon on the DS. This is also probably my this is my second least favorite entry in the series. It's an okay game. Not. It's still well. It's still good. It just they just seem to really limit the number of classes compared to the first two games, especially compared to Sh to. I mean, to, to Fire Emblem and the Sacred Stones for the Game Boy Advance. And the Laguz units, I didn't really use them that much. I mean, they're powerful, but just weren't, really weren't worth using. But I'd still recommend it if you're a Fire Emblem fan. Next up, Proof I Am a Zelda Nut. Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. This is an okay game. It's an okay compilation game. However, the, the slowdowns on Ocarina of Time Majora's, and Majora's Mask, it's kind of annoying, especially sometimes the crashes that happen on Majora's Mask if you know, if you upload a game after using an interrupt save. So yeah, if, if you play Majora's Mask on this, don't use interrupt saves, you're, or if after a while your game will crash on you. But other than that, it's worth owning. But with Virtual Console now, I guess there's not much point to owning it. Next up, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Master Quest version of the game. Yes, just to let you know, I have I pre-ordered The Wind Waker and got this as a bonus. And, what can I say, Ocarina of Time was the game that got me into... That got, that, well, I've, I've gotten to the Zelda series before Ocarina of Time. I've played... Zelda games before this, 
but Ocarina of Time made me into a big Zelda nut. Made me really like like the series a lot more, really become a fan of it. And the game and the GameCube controls, I think, are definitely an improvement over the N64 controls. And that's I have played this game on the 64. Next up, Legends of the Wind Waker. I I have to say, among Zelda games, this is probably one of my least favorites. It's still good, still recommend it. But the nautical theme, the nautical theme of the game just didn't fly with me, which I. Surprisingly, I actually prefer the nautical theme in Phantom Hourglass over this way more. But, it's still good. And yeah, I was one of those who bitched about the uh, new look for Link and his world. But, I grew it out of that phase. I did, I was able to look past that over time. Camera's too sensitive. Anyway, next up is Luigi's Mansion. It's a good game. Good, you know, uh, launch style for the GameCube. It's one of the first two games I got with my GameCube. Yeah. And next up was the first game I actually played in the Mario Kart series. The first Mario Kart game I ever owned. Mario Kart Double Dash. Great game. I like it. Managed to get everything on it. To admit, just to admit something though, I am not a... I am not a big racing game fan. Just not into it, but I do like Mario Kart. Thanks to this, I've really gotten into Mario Kart, so I, and I got the two games that came after it. Next up is probably my first entry in the Mario Party series to own, and probably will be the only one I, I ever own. Unless someone recommends I try out the other Mario Party games that came after it, but I'm Pro but people are probably sick of them anyway. Mario Party 4. It's good. You know, mini games are fine. Can characters can be a little. The game can kind of screw you easily, but you know, some you know board games can do that. And just to admit off something for the next game, just to admit something, I am a Mega Man fan. Pretty big, you know. So, this next game is Mega Man Anniversary Collection. This, and yes, I own the GameCube collection, so, and yes, I was actually, I actually got used to the controls for the GameCube, you know, where they switched out the fire and jump buttons. So, definitely worth owning if you're a Mega Man fan. Though. If you're not used to the controls for this, for this game, I would recommend getting the PS2 version instead. Other than that, awesome. This camera's way too sensitive. Next up is actually the first entry in the Metroid series. For well, first, well, the first Metroid game I ever owned, and that would be Metroid Prime. Awesome game, very awesome. Got this on my birthday back in 2002, and when I saw the gameplay footage and all and all the footage of it 
all the uh, images of it. I had to get this game. So yeah. And of course, I became such a big fan of it, I had to get Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. This is another great game. I like the light and dark worlds. Kind of reminds me of the light and dark worlds in A Link to the Past in the Zelda series. Can be a little annoying going back and forth between the worlds, but I, th I still think it's a great game. A lot of great power-ups you can get. Just overall awesome. Next up, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Solid RPG. I don't like it as much as Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo, but I still think it's definitely worth owning. This is the first Paper Mario game I've played and owned. So yeah. Next up is a game I haven't played too much of and I'm hoping to get back into it a little bit. Though I'm though I mostly got it to get the last trophy in Super Smash Brothers Melee. That's Pikmin. It's taken me a while to get used to the uh, unique gameplay style of it. But, and I'll try to get back in this game sometime, but after that, I have my only entry in the Prince of Persia series, Prince of Persia of the Sands of Time. Solid game. I haven't played the other two that came after this. Obviously, like I said, this is my only entry in the Prince of Persia series. And I probably prefer it over the other two games that came after it. Mainly because they tried to make it all too hard. Make the other two games too, too hardcore with heavy metal soundtracks and, more and a more mature environment. But in that, I do recommend this game. After that comes Resident Evil, yeah, the GameCube remake, obviously. I have to say I prefer the controls of Eternal Darkness more than this game, but I did play, I did get this game back in 2002, you know, whereas Eternal Darkness I didn't get until 2008. Took me a while to get used to the controls and the gameplay style, but I like it. A lot. And after that, Resident Evil 4. Really love this game. I have to say. I haven't really played the Resident Evil series that much. I haven't really got into it, but not all that much. But so I may not be the biggest Resident Evil fan, but definitely a game worth owning. Very worth owning. Anyway, I better st I better go ahead and stop here for right now. So. I'll show you the rest of my DS game, I mean my ugh, GameCube games in my next video. See ya.